welcome to my channel my name is chris leone let me look at the camera <laughs> ignore my jacket in the back and yeah this is my first video on youtube and i thought you know why not go ahead and just do the video that i've been wanting to do forever it's been three months since i got my truck and why not introduce her to you guys as you guys see by the title this is my jeep wrangler unlimited sahara altitude so Basically, the altitude is going to be your mid-grade between Sahara and the high altitude. So I do have like a lot of the different um, like specs that the high altitude has, but just don't have the high altitude. She does have a turbo engine, and when I drive, I can hear it like my RPMs rev, rev and I'm like, I'm sitting there like, dang, like it can get annoying <laughs> at times, but like she sounds so good. She was long awaited, and I tell you. I was looking for this specific Jeep for so, 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 so long. Anytime I would save a Jeep, anytime I would like inquire about it, all those Jeeps were always gone. So when I seen her, I'm like, let me hop on this. Let me call the dealership. And mind you, when I called the dealership, they didn't even have the car. Like they didn't have, they didn't even have the truck there. So I had to wait for them to get the truck, put it through detailing, put it through like their, um, you know like inspections and stuff like that and then i can come and get it to put down a um like a down pay not a down payment a deposit on the truck so it was only a hundred dollars i know you know a hundred dollars is not a little bit of money but coming from places when they're you know people are always saying like oh it cost you 500 may cost you a thousand i remember talking to my mom and i was like yeah you know i'm, I'm expecting it just to be a hundred dollar down like deposit and my mom was like, no, you know, places don't do not do that. They're laughing on the phone. But this truck was only $100 to hold it. So I'm like, my boyfriend paid for it. I'm like, perfect. Like, this truck is, you know, it's mine if I like it. So let's get more into, like, how much it costs and all of that. So, like I said, she is a 2020 Jeep. And out the door, I did negotiate over the phone. Um, prior to me negotiating, this truck was $45,000 and it was a lease vehicle, only had 27,000 miles on it. It was certified pre-owned, so meaning I had like, I think 3,000 miles that I could like take it to any Jeep dealership and get any little cosmetic things fixed, um, you know, before I hit that 3,000 mile mark. So, yes, uh, after negotiating, I was able to get her to out the door including taxes license plate all those fees i believe like 44 7 i think which to me i mean it might still be you know high to some people but i feel like that was a deal especially for the year because i wasn't even looking at a 2020 i was looking at either a 2019 but then my mom was like since we're going into a new year that truck will be older and if you do look into even though jeeps do hold their price but if you are looking into trading it in or getting something new, you just probably want to look at a newer Jeep. It was nothing wrong with this truck at all. It came with the um, front panel little holder thing, which is what I said I wanted. It came with the little Jeep kit, so the um, tools that you can take the doors off with, it came with that. Um, we gonna get into that, we gonna get into that. <laughs> I feel like everyone downs the Sahara and the Rubicon because they're like, oh, they're so expensive. Like, uh, you know, I didn't want to, go with that one so i ended up going with the sport but my thing is you guys like if a jeep is something that you want just understand that there's no cheap jeep <laughs> like people act like getting a sport is still going to be cheap my sister has a sport her sport was forty thousand after like taxes and after fees so it's just like these trucks are not cheap so don't settle for something thinking that you're going to get a better price like yeah it may be cheaper in the long like in the long end or whatever but at the end of the day you're still paying 35 36 37 39 40 thousand dollars for a truck when you can get you a higher trim truck like a sport s or a sahara like a base model sahara and still be spending around the same maybe a little bit more because obviously you are adding more specs to the car but come on now come on now <laughs> it's worth it <laughs> kind of gonna get into like the pros and cons of having a truck because I watched so many of these videos and prior to me getting my truck, I watched so many videos and I feel like people tend to highlight the negative instead of the positive or they kind of mislead you guys and I noticed a lot of people talking about like the um, fuel mileage and things of that nature and you guys, my truck is really good on gas or fuel, whatever. My truck is really good on gas. <laughs> like 
I'm thinking about my boyfriend's truck. But my truck is really good on gas. Like, I can drive around my um, city. I can drive two hours to Detroit, and I will still be close to full. So I don't know if it's just my higher power bless me with the perfect truck. I don't know what everybody else has going on. But my truck is really good on gas. Don't believe what you hear. Don't believe anything that people are saying always do your own research or go test drive one and have them tell you you know a little bit about the truck but or you know what i feel like a better way to do it is rent a jeep like in the summertime or right now whatever go rent a jeep drive it around maybe get it for like a day or two or for the weekend and just see how much it costs to fill up see how good or bad in your opinion it is on gas and then you can kind of see if this is something that you want to get yourself into i used to rent these all the time and i hated them <laughs> like i used to hate them because i'm just like this does not feel like a truck that i can get in and just go you know like i can't just get in and go this is like a, you gotta get in it you gotta like put some like it's a big body so it's not just gonna be moving the way you want it to move like it's a big car but nevertheless beautiful i love it so when i was looking i was really 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 specific in what i wanted and i wanted the led um light group my headlights are so bright like literally so bright i never have an issue driving at night i didn't want the halogen because i did not like the way it looked i didn't like um that it wasn't that bright and you guys these trucks are expensive get what you want don't settle i don't care i don't believe in settling settling in life get what you want so i wanted the led light group um and then these things that my truck come with are just add-ons so i do have blind spot detection um i think maybe it comes with the led light group i'm not sure but i do have blind spot detection my truck did come with the hard top bag <clears throat> um i do have leather seats leather heated seats i have a i want to say this is like a um wrapped or coated leather steering wheel um and that's heated as well i do have all weather mats which if you guys have a jeep and you have these mats please let me know like how you keep them clean because they look so nasty like they get really dirty really quick so it makes it look dirty in here when i like to keep my car clean at all times so it's not dirty in here when you guys see the video don't be judging me i'm not dirty it's just these dang on mats okay so all weather mats um and also with the sahara altitude everything is blacked out so like the little badges are blacked out the jeep sign is blacked out and my truck does not say sahara it just says jeep wrangler unlimited that's it so you really don't know what it is unless you know about jeep but yeah um i did go with i think with the sahara altitude you do get everything body color so like my three so these are the two and then i have the big one the third one that is body colored as well so i didn't want the two-tone nothing wrong with that but i wanted everything to look body colored you know i feel like there's different people in this world and i'm more of a luxury classy type of girl like i'm not really rugged i don't want that really like rugged look i just like the one color classy all blacked out look so that's what we got um i do have keyless entry which is something that i did want because coming from my previous car didn't have that um and also remote start i live in michigan <laughs> so y'all it's cold as hell okay and it's cold in my truck right now but i'm i have it off i don't know how long it's gonna take me to film this but like i wanted remote entry i mean remote start because it gets cold your truck is already warm by the time you get in here i can drive with my you know my hoodie or my tank top or like whatever on and i'm good so um so also i do have these little i don't know if you guys can kind of see it but i do have these insulators um my sister ended up putting them on her truck too so i can't really say like you know the difference but i do notice in my truck versus her truck the sound system is crazy in here like the bass be booming like y'all wouldn't even know that i'm in here if you see <laughs> my truck riding around like you wouldn't think i was in here i don't know who you would think but it wouldn't be me but yeah so like these help with apparently they help with like noise reduction like wind sounds they help with um like your music just everything sounding more insulated and sounding better and i can't say if it works or not but my truck also already came with tint 
I want to say this is factory tint. Normally factory tint though, you guys, it's only on the back. I know it may not look that tinted right now, but my whole truck is tinted. So I don't know, like I think this truck was literally, it was meant for me. She was sitting there, brand new to me, but brand new, fresh on the market. Like I'm sure I, when I was on, I want to say Carfax, people were already hard in the Jeep. And you can see like if you go to Carfax, how many people heart the Jeep that you have hearted. I think it was already like three people who hearted it. So I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, you're not going to get this before me. Like I want this one. <laughs> so I called. Like I told you guys, I called and, but you know what? If you guys want a story time on how I manifested this truck, because I did in fact manifest this truck, let me know and leave a comment below and I got you. I was gonna go with the Sky One Touch. And the reason why I didn't go with that, <sighs> now the police just wrote past, contemplating a hard top versus the Sky One Touch. So I was Googling, I was like, you know, what are some pros and cons of a Sky One Touch, you know? Like, just, just trying to get a little bit more of an understanding so I know which one I want to go with. So, after reading everything and all the reviews, most people were just saying how if you live in an area where it snows a lot, in Michigan, I deal with that, they said that I guess the max capacity or the max weight that this uh, Sky One Touch can hold is only 300 pounds. I don't know who got out there and weighed like you know who's gonna get out there and wear the snow to see if it's too heavy but nevertheless i didn't want to deal with it and then they were saying how it's not very insulated you hear more wind noise and um not to take it through car washes <clears throat> so i just was thinking i'm like i really don't want to deal with that because you want to get your car washed really quick or like it may snow outside i just don't have a i just don't want to deal with it and then my mom was like oh you don't want someone to cut a hole in it and be able to get into your truck and that is inevitable when you do have like the soft top obviously i'm not putting that on anybody but people are crazy <laughs> i gotta start my car it's freezing ah! i'm so cold oh my god it's let me tell you oh three 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 as a sign, it's 28 degrees. I'm sitting here. Sorry. I'm sitting here with no heat on. I'm freezing. So, yeah. And let me put this down so y'all don't hear it. Hold on. I'll get into the, like, how the inside of my truck looks and what everything means. This is my steering wheel. So, this comes in it by this little button right here. You can pull it down and it comes out or it goes back. Oop. <laughs> goes down up or and then you can push it back in by just locking that um everything is i guess automatic in here so i can unlock and lock these are my mirror controls and then over here you do have like where you can adjust it you can turn off the lights and then you just have your bottom lights on i normally just keep it on auto so anytime it rains or it goes from like obviously the sun being out to the sun not being out my lights will come on by themselves and then this light you guys can't see it but this controls like the um floor lighting there it's not on now so you guys can't see it and then this is obviously like going to control your radio lights so as you can see it's dimming and it's turning brighter and then when you turn it all the way on you will turn on the inside lights so I normally just keep it like right there. So this is the infamous radio screen that I love. I think it's the 8.4 Uconnect screen. Beautiful. This is like my app screen. This is for me to control my um, seats, like the heated seats, my heated steering wheel, my backup camera. And uh, yeah, it's pretty responsive as you guys can see. I do have Wi-Fi, but you have to pay for it, so I don't have it. <laughs> um, and I can control like my side of the car, and then the other person can control theirs in case like someone gets more hot than the other person. And also, you go to your settings if you want your car to lock um, silently. Like if I press the lock button, you won't hear it. Or if you want it to um, remote start and be quiet, you can change that. Oop. And then as far as in, let's go here, like door locks, you can change everything. Like here's what I was talking about, the 
second horn was locked so I have it at the second horn so when I press it one time you don't hear it but the second time that's the horn and then you can sound your remote start with horn so when you press it it'll go boom boom or you can turn it off and then first press of key fobs unlocks you can either have it on just your driver door or all your doors passive entry meaning the remote entry so or keyless entry excuse me so if I put my hand in the door my car unlocks but if I don't like that I can change it so it has a little like a lot of different things you can do to the car um, you can have like a headlight this delay you can just change it to make it for you know comfortable for you this little cord that I keep in here you have like this little aux cord and then you have this is for my iPhone and then you have this cord so you know other people can charge their phones too this is the auto stop on and off I always press that because I don't really like that and then this is for your windshield I can't put my windshield thing on because I did tint my windshield like this is how you can change how you want the heat or the air to come in you guys, I never use this. I never use this button. Off hazard lights. Um, this is how you turn your heat and air off. And yeah, they, this truck does have its own built-in navigation. So obviously we all use our phone, but you can search like a location, you know, and things will come up or whatever if your phone ever dies and stuff like that. But I do love this. Um, you're able to really customize it and I can change the color I have to figure out how to do that mm. I was doing it one night when I was just sitting here bored oh set theme so if you go to set theme you will see like all of these sorry my hands in the way um, so I set mine to this one but you can see like this screen display green then you have this one sorry <laughs> that's orange let's look at this one it's orange too but if you can look in the back you can see the differences like this actual screen like how it's changing so yeah I think we, we were here y'all no we were here girl which one do we have oh my gosh I know it was blue I mean it was green Let's just keep it there. Do y'all like that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want it to be orange. And I don't want it to be red. I wish they had a pink one. Like, who who made this the colors? Like, I want pink. But, okay. Let me not bore y'all with me trying to figure that out. This is your, like, little council thing. I do have my manual in there. And then, this is what I was talking about when I said... It came with a little kit. Let me open it for you. So it comes with a little kit for you to take the doors off and it gives you like instructions on how to use it. And yes. So that's kind of it on the front. Let's go and do the back. The back seat, I do have water in here, so just ignore that. So these are the all weather mats and I don't even have no one sit back here so I don't know how that's like that <laughs> but these are the all weather mats and then this is how you let the windows down on in the back you do have this little plug here that you can plug stuff up with and then you have like stuff for the back people backseat people to be able to charge their phones too and then right here is the cup holders but my waters are blocking it so like I said, I do have the leather seats and it looks really good. Everything is black. My trail rated badge, the Jeep sign, and then it just says Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Doesn't say Sahara. I do have a gas cap. It came like this, so I did not have to buy this or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I think it looks really cute. This is for my blind spot detection. That's on my, let me see if I can show you. Can y'all see the little triangle? Yeah, you can kind of see it. That's when it, you know, how to pop up. I did not want my door to lock. <laughs> I know it won't, but paranoia. So that's for that. This is the tail lights. And you just lift that up. I my truck is very dirty. Ignore that. But this is the bag that I was telling you guys about that I have that comes or came with my Jeep to put my two front panels in. 
Um, so I bought these rocks because it was really snowy out here and I wanted to add some weight to my truck. If you guys have any suggestions on like better ways to do it, let me know, but this seems to work. They're pretty heavy. I got them from Lowe's. I think they're like $5 each. So not much at all. Close this back. Yeah, that is her. Um, I still do have the antenna on there, which I am changing, you know, like I said, but that's all gonna be going to be in the summertime. And these are the LED lights that come with my truck. And you guys can kind of see like my windshield tint. I was pretty dark in there, you cannot see me, which I love. <laughs> I want to show you guys a little Easter egg that I had seen. Look at that. Little sandals. So cute. <laughs> but yeah, let's, let me get back in the car, y'all. It's freezing. <laughs> but I want, you know, you who are wa who's watching this video, excuse me, to know that if this is your dream truck, just go out and get it. Like, if you're younger, manifest it, put it on a, your board, print out a picture of it. I used to have this this Jeep, literally. Well, the color, not the trim or anything. As my screensaver, you guys, when I knew that it was for me, I focused, like I tapped in, focused in, and now look at me. Like sometimes, like driving around, I, I just get so tongue-tied because it's just like, wow, you guys, I did it. Like this is mine, and yeah. Like, I'm one of the people who you guys are gonna click and you guys are gonna watch and I'm gonna be a part of the algorithm that I used to watch so this is just testimony for you guys to go out and do and even if it's not a Jeep go out and do something that you want to do in your life because I promise you that when you achieve the goal that you want to achieve it's gonna put that fire under your behind and make you just work that much harder to keep it so if you guys like my trucky, <laughs> you guys like the video, make sure you like, comment, and of course subscribe if you are wanting to. Um, I think my next video, if you guys want it, will be about me manifesting the truck um, and how that process went. And yeah, so I don't know what else to say. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> hopefully y'all like it. I know I was talking a lot and hopefully I can formulate this video and make it make sense. But...